Whiskey Butler, take 40. Howdy! Welcome to the Whiskey Butler. I am your host, Wesley Butler, here to serve you a little whiskey wisdom. Uh, today, in honor of Easter, I thought I'd put on my Sunday best here, and we do we do a, a, an episode with an, an Easter theme. No, I'm not going to get religious on you, but... There's a lot of other things that go along with, uh, that are associated with Easter. So I got some chocolate here, I got some dyed eggs, I got some plastic eggs with candy in it, and I got a whiskey here from the Rabbit Hole Distillery. That's right, we're going down the rabbit hole today. So, we're going to talk about Rabbit Hole Derringer, finished in PX Sherry Cast, okay? So, uh, you know, last year I was really unfamiliar with this whiskey. I'd seen it a few times in liquor stores, but I was a little hesitant to pull the trigger. As luck would have it, I put it on my Christmas wish list, and Santa left it for me under the tree. So, thank you, Santa. I was able to enjoy this whiskey, uh, and now I'm going to taste it here for you today in this episode. So, this, uh, this distillery is in Louisville, Kentucky. And this particular whiskey is 93 proof, so not on the entry level 80 proof side, but certainly not on the on the super strong side. 93 is a good, it's a good mid-range. I like a good mid-range. The mash bill on it is 68% corn, 18% wheat, 14% malted barley. So we do have a weeded mash bill here, because notice I didn't say there was any rye in the mash bill. So we have eliminated the the typical spiciness for maybe a little a smoother smoother taste with the weeded mash bill. It's a straight whiskey, so we know it's been aged at least two years. Don't know exactly how long it was aged, but we're gonna go with we know it was at least two years. And it was finished in those PX Sherry casts, which I mentioned earlier. They come from Spain. PX stands for Pedro Jimenez. So so when I'm thinking about this whiskey, I'm thinking I got a weeded mash bill, aged two years, so maybe a smooth profile and then some some fruity notes with the with the sherry cast there uh so that's 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 what my mind would tell me before i taste it right just noticing just listing all those characteristics out of it so let's see what we got let's go ahead and pour a little bit here got a 2017 gold medal winner at the new york world spirits oops just tossed that over um Pour a little bit here. All right. Nice aroma on the nose, on the nose, right when you pour it. Nice aroma on the nose. Okay, all right, here we go, here we go. Okay, I'm getting I can definitely taste some fruit on the, not on the initial taste, but on the back end of the taste, right? Not really tasting any vanilla, but uh, certainly some, some fruitier taste there. I don't know. Maybe some cinnamon in there. I can certainly taste the sherry cast though, which, you know, that was why I was really interested in this one is because... I like I like a, I like a good whiskey that's got a that's got a finish on it, right? I mean, you know, whiskey just by itself can be absolutely great, but sometimes you add a little finish to it, just steps it up a little bit. So, you know, I would recommend I would recommend buying this whiskey if you're in the whiskey for if you're in the if you're in the if you're in the uh, if you're in the market for man, I need a bottle of whiskey that I can take to a party or that I can take to a party, or I'm having a party at my house and I, we just want to kill a bottle of whiskey, this would be a good one. Tell the story about the sherry cast, you know. Um, it's 93, so it shouldn't, shouldn't offend anyone's sensibilities. But uh, no, this is definitely, definitely a whiskey I would recommend. So, Rabbit Hole Distillery, hope everyone had a great Easter. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, click the bell when you subscribe so you're always alerted to a new one. Share with your friends. Appreciate you watching. Catch you on the next episode. Have a great day.